guys, welcome back to JK and Counting. I'm Crystal, and if you'd like to get this hairstyle, keep watching. So as you saw, I got this hairstyle by doing Bantu knots. And I used the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil, the Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Styling Lotion. So basically, I started with washed hair. My hair was totally clean. And then I just added in leave-in conditioner by Shea Moisture, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. And I used coconut oil to seal in the moisture. And after that, I just let my hair dry for about two days. And I just wanted my hair to be stretched. So if it's stretched, it's gonna come out perfect. And you just need to make sure it's detangled. Um, and that way there's no, there's no coils. You just want it to be as straight as possible. I don't use heat in my hair, so that's why I let my hair dry for two days. So when you're ready to do your bantu knots, all you have to do is just spritz your roots, not your hair, just your roots to hydrate it. And just use a little bit of oil, whichever oil you'd like, just to massage your scalp. And then I just um, used the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Stretten and Grow Lotion um, onto my hair, just about a, about this much, a pea size. And I just fingered it throughout my hair. So after you detangled, I just detangled some more, just to make sure it was, it was fully detangled. Because if you have knots in the Bantu knots, uh, when you're doing it, it's not gonna come out right. So all you have to do now is just basically you roll your fingers through your hair as you saw in the video until it's fully tight. You leave a little space from the roots, um, about an inch, just so um, you don't pull around your edges. Um, after that, if you're doing the front, you basically twist towards the front of your face. And if you're doing the back, you twist towards the middle of your um, head and then you basically just coil your hair all the way around like a curly fry so once you have your curly fry bantu knot you basically just it either you wind it all the way around your knot so it stays or you can do like me and use a pin my hair never seems to stay in the bantu knot so i always use a, a bobby pin to just hold it into place um and the reason why i use the shea moisture jamaican black castor oil uh, styling lotion is because it holds my hair similar to a gel but it doesn't leave it crunchy as a gel would or flaky so right now my curls are really soft but firm so I like the way that feels with other styles I may use a styling gel but for this style I'll pref I prefer to use the styling lotion from Shea Moisture just because of how it looks and how it feels and it just it just looks more more um, full and fluffy without it being flaky and stiff so once your bantu knots are in you let your hair dry for how many days it takes you for me it took me two days to have the product dry with the bantu knot i've had problems in the past where i took it out too early and so my hair did not fully coil the way i wanted it to and it ended up being frizzy within an hour so make sure your hair is fully dry when you're ready to take out your bantu knots so when you take out your bantu knots, make sure your hands have a little bit of oil, whichever oil is your preference. I use coconut oil, and what you have to do is basically unscrew the bantu knots. Take out your pins if you had, if you uh, put pins into your hair. Um, so once the pins are out, you unscrew. You go in the opposite direction of what you, um, of how you bantu your hair. So once you have it hanging, leave it alone until you do the entire head. Go back to wherever you started and pull on your hair. Not hard, obviously, but just pull it straight so it's, it's at its full length. And you'll see where your hair naturally separates. What you want to do is gently part the separation. 
So you pull each one and you'll have it either um, at the size you want the, the curl to be or the coil to be. Um, if not, then you just keep pulling each one that you already separated some more, right? And then you just keep doing each one and then you're done. If you like the way it looks from just those separation, you can keep it like that or you can continue on and do as I did. I basically used my fingers with some oil and fluffed my scalp and then I shook my head from side to side, front and back. Just to make it a little bit more fluffier because I love second day hair. So after that, um, I like to do this signature style. So all I did was just put some pins in. I just pushed it forward and put some pins in all the way around. And since I have the fade in the back, I just like to um, to show that off with this style. So if you want to continue on, you could do that style. If not, if you like the way your hair looks now, just leave it as is and rock it with your cute outfit. And that's pretty much it, all right? So I have more beauty videos coming your way. So if you like this video, please hit that notification button and you'll be alerted when the next video is up. Thank you for watching our channel. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. If you love this hairstyle, please give this video a thumbs up.